Good morning. You know, 20 years ago, if you had said to me, Bill, this is a uh, sales tip that you're going to give one day, how to go on vacation, I'd have said, yeah, you're nuts. But because of the fact that things are so complicated these days, we have all this technology that follows us around. Uh, I just booked my, my oldest daughter's honeymoon this fall, and one of the packages that I bought her was internet, which just blew my mind. You can't even go on a cruise anymore and leave it all behind. You can take it with you. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? But that's just the way things are. So you really do have to have a strategy because we all need a break. So here are my thoughts on this. Number one, prepare the outside. Make certain that your customers know that you're going to be away and who they should talk to. Then prepare the inside and talk to someone in the plant who's going to take over for you. Write it down if you have to, but you want to make those sure those first two steps are absolutely taken care of because if they're not, then you're going to have a difficult time calming down and, and, and pulling it into the station. Let's see. Oh, prepare your prospects. The next thing is if you're prospecting someone and you're saying, I'm going to call you, I'm going to call you, why not leave a message that says, hey, this is Bill. I'm going to be on vacation till the first. So you're going to be doing without my voice on your voicemail. I'm sure you'll be fine. If you're not, just breathe into a bag. I'll be back and we'll talk again then. I hope to set up a time to talk to you. Why not? I mean, they're not doing business with you right now. Worst case scenario, they're not going to do business with you. So you've broken even. All right, what else do I have here? Oh, give yourself a couple days to calm down. Realize that when you go on, no locomotive stops instantly. No cruise ship stops instantly. And you don't either. So just realize that you're going to wake up that first morning. You're like, okay, what do you want to do first? Let's go. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? The second day, that's when it starts to hit you. Third day, man, you're in a coma. You don't care if the place burns to the ground because you're fine. You're in good shape. A body at rest tends to stay at rest. Let it. If you are going to check in, here's what I found. I had a timeshare down in West Palm Beach, Florida. I used to come off the beach at 3 o'clock every day. And I changed my outgoing voicemail message that said, hey, it's Bill. I'm going to be gone for a few days. If you call me before 3 o'clock, I'll return your phone call that day. If you call me after 3 o'clock, I'll call you back the next day. And that worked perfectly because that gave me the time to just chill. It kind of gave me permission to just say, you know what? I can relax until three o'clock. Worked perfectly. Uh, let's see. Also, don't read business books on vacation. I was in Aruba once and I read, I want to say it was um, uh, Brand Warfare. And I just couldn't wait to get back because it really just fired me up. Go read a Tom Clancy novel or something, whatever, but do not listen to business books or read them on vacation. Sounds like a great idea. You're sharpening the saw and everything else, but it just, it's counterintuitive. Go play golf or something. Uh, let's see. And then rest. You know what? You've earned it. You, you've, uh, you will hopefully pull that train into the station and you can calm down. When you come back, I remember pulling out of Logan Airport, and all these people are flying by me on the Southeast Expressway, going back down towards Cape Cod, and people, people are cutting me off, and I'm like driving on nice and calm, and just realize it's going to take you some time to get going. And what I think you might find is that nothing burned to the ground. Nothing bad happened to your customers. Everybody was fine. Let that go. And, and know that for the next time, because here's the news, gang. You're not nearly as important as you think you are. And when you think you're irreplaceable and you go on vacation and you find out that, hmm, place ran along pretty well without me, maybe next time you can really slow down and enjoy that time. So that's it. I hope you have a good uh, selling week this week, gang. We'll talk to you next week. We'll start talking about August and September. Have a great selling week.